Looms are extremely powerful, and when you pair them up with cold emails, you will have more sales calls than you know what to do with. This strategy alone helped our agency scale to seven figures. That's why in this video, I'm going to go over a step-by-step -step Loom email strategy that you can steal to start booking more sales calls for your business. So when it comes to using the Loom cold email strategy, what I see a lot of people do is they will send an email, not get any responses because the email is not great and they're not leading with value and they're just trying to sell in every single email. And then on the other hand, when it comes to using a Loom cold email strategy, I was recently on a call with someone and they said they literally spent three hours creating over a hundred Loom videos and they sent the Loom videos to their potential clients thinking that they would get response and their sponsor rate was zero and they didn't get any business from it. So what we're going to go over today is how to send a high volume of emails to your target audience. We're going to lead with a value driven Loom video and we're going to increase the responses, which is going to increase the likelihood of us setting appointments with our customers. Your ideal clients are likely getting flooded with with cold emails. And the reason we're going to stand out and we're going to get more appointments using this strategy is because we're leading with one thing, value. This strategy can work extremely well if followed step by step. When it comes to writing the cold email, there's really two parts to the cold email. One is the subject line and one is the email copy. When it comes to the subject line, what we want to avoid is anything that sounds salesy. Hey, made this video for you. Hey, increase your profits by 50% or you don't pay. We don't want to just be another cold email. People are getting flooded with their cold emails. And if if you're just coming off as salesy, you're going to end up directly in the trash folder. So when it comes to writing the email for this cold email strategy, we want to pique the curiosity and we want to sound personal. We don't want to just sound like an email that you're just copy and pasting or you're blasting to a bunch of people. So from a subject line perspective, ones that I like, ones that have worked really well for me are extremely simple because what we're doing is we're trying to make it seem like it's somebody in their organization emailing them, like a friend emailing them, not a salesperson emailing them. Simple thoughts, first name, question mark, high first name, question mark, make it sound like it's an actual human emailing them. Once we have the subject line dialed in, what we want to do is we want to begin to start to craft our email copy, which is what we're actually going to start sending these people. A problem that I see a lot when people are writing email copy is they're going to send a thousand word email explaining their offer. And it's going to be just like a novel that they expect their potential clients to read, which is not going to happen whatsoever. Or they're selling in the first email, trying to get them to book a call. They're coming off almost as desperate. And if you make these two mistakes, what's going to happen is no one's going to respond. No no one's going to open the email and your email is going to go straight into the junk folder. So using the cold email strategy and using email copy that you can copy and paste, you'll get more responses, more appointments, and you'll get more people raising their hand to want to learn more about what it's like to actually work with you. We want to be personalized when it comes to writing our emails so that it actually feels like it's going to them and them only. But we want to make it really simple. Simplicity is going to scale. Complexity is going to fail, especially when it comes to using this strategy for your cold emails. So what I want to do is I want to break down some email examples and you can literally copy and paste these inside of your business. I highlighted in green some personalizations and some things that you can include. I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this inside of your email strategy. Hi Austin, I've been following Agency for a while and I have some ideas that could potentially help you close more high ticket coaching deals. Mind if I share a quick video explaining further? What we're doing is we're saying, hi, I've been following company name for a while and have some ideas that could potentially help you achieve desired outcome. What is the desired outcome of the customer that you're sending this email to? And then we're going to do a call to action and the call to action is going to be a quick video explaining further. So when it comes to sending this email, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get them to raise their hand and be receptive to the ideas that we have when it comes to helping them close more deals or whatever the desired outcome of that specific niche that you're actually emailing is. Another email example. Hi Austin, question in the coaching space. I popped on your IG and noticed three things that could potentially help you get more views to attract more members into your program. I shot a personalized video for you. Is this the best place to drop it? P.S. The same strategy helped John at Business Coach get 1 million views last week. So in this one, you're crushing it in the niche that you're emailing. I popped on your IG and noticed three things that could potentially desired outcome. Get you more views to attract more members into your program. I shot a personalized video for you. Is this the best place to drop it? Love this question because you're not saying, can I send you over a personalized video? Like we're just saying, is this the best place to drop the video? Assuming that they're going to say yes, which is going to increase the likelihood of them actually responding to it. And then what we did is we added in a case study that kind of gives a little bit more context of why this value that I'm about to give you is actually going to be valuable. Yes, the same strategy helped John, a business coach, get 1 million views last week and add five members to his program. And the last one is going to be, hi Austin, I hope this email doesn't come off as too abrasive, but I was checking out plumbers in San Diego and noticed a few things on our website that could be costing you lost deals to competitors, like CM Heating. I shot a personalized video going over them. Are you the right person to send this to? Similarly, hi first name, hope this email doesn't come off as too abrasive, but was checking out 
out niches in city and notice a few things on your website that could be costing deals to competitors. Like what are their pain points? They're losing out deals to competitors. That would be the pain point in this example. And then name a competitor in that specific city like CM Heating, which would just irk them a little bit more, be abrasive, but hopefully get them to a point where they have this pain point where they want to raise their hand. I shot a personalized video going over them. Are you the right person to send this to? What we really need to understand is what is the companies that we're reaching out to? What are the desired outcomes? What are the pain points? If we have any case studies you want to include, and then we want to make it simple for them to raise their hand and say, yes, I want more information on how you can help me with a specific desired outcome and give me some feedback on the pain that's related to how you can actually help them. So when it comes to launching it, how do we check the box on the strategy of a high volume of emails that we're going to be sending to our target audience? What I see a ton is people will use this strategy and then they'll just copy and paste the email copy into their Gmail and then they'll just click send, change out some words, send. That is completely unscalable and it is a surefire way to decrease the volume and decrease really the likelihood of you setting a lot of appointments using this cold email strategy because the effectiveness of the strategy is writing really good email copy. But the second piece of it is getting this email copy in front of thousands of people without you being bogged down sending manual emails, which is going to just take away from what you need to be actually doing, which is working on your business and growing your business and actually taking calls with these people. What we do is we use a tool called instantly.ai. We can send thousands of emails every single day to our ideal customer. And it's really simple to do and really scalable because it makes it very easy for us to do it. What we want to do first is we want to make sure that we actually have set up emails inside of a tool like Instantly. So when it comes to sending cold emails, what we want to make sure is that we're not just copy and pasting cold emails or doing a mail merge or something like that that's going to wreck your domains. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure we buy fake domains and we can buy emails associated with those domains that we can actually send a high volume of emails from. So a tool like Instantly, we can literally do this in three clicks. If I type in my domain, I can select a couple of domains that are similar. I can purchase them directly through Instantly. And what I can also purchase is the emails associated with them. And now once I have this set up, I can send up to 50 emails a day safely from each email. So if I have 15 emails here for the cost of $45 a month, we can send 15 times 50, which would be 750 emails every single day. So once we have that set up, all we have to do is create a campaign. We can add leads, whether we have our own list or we could use Lead Finder and we could literally search by job titles. We could search by industry and keywords. We can find people in specific industries that we can email to. So for example, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the campaign. I'm just going to add one, I'm going to add a lead. And then what I can do is I can go to sequences and I can literally just copy and paste the email that I created and I can personalize it for each person. So subject line, let's just do hi, first name and the email. I can begin to add the variables of the personalization of who I'm actually emailing. So crushing it in the coaching space. I popped on your IG. So we could basically add a list, make sure we have the industry of everybody that we're emailing to, make sure we have the first name, their email, and we can upload it and then write a personalized email to them. And when we preview it, it'll look like this. Hi, Austin, crushing in the coaching space. I popped on your IG and noticed three things that can help you get more views to attract members in your program. I shot a personalized video for you. This is the best place to drop it. P.S. This is the same strategy helped John, a business coach, get 1 million views last week. We can save this and then we can go ahead and launch the campaign. We can select the emails that we're sending the campaign from and we can set a daily limit of 30 to 50 or whatever the quantity of leads that you have. But what's going to be important is that we have a high volume of people that we can send this to and we're not doing it manual and we're doing it safely so that it actually lands inside of the inbox. So what we'll start to notice is we have a unibox inside of Instantly and we'll start to notice what we call positive replies. And these are people saying, yes, send me more information. Yes, send me the Loom video. And this is where you need to actually create an effective Loom video to send them. That's actually going to provoke them taking action it would be to book a call with you. So when it comes to the Loom script, we don't want to word vomit on them. We don't want to share a Loom video that's fire hosey. We want a structure to our Loom scripts so that it can effectively communicate to our target audience while adding value, but also provoking action. So the Loom script that we're going to film is basically if someone responds and they're like, yeah, send me more information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to their Instagram. We're going to record a Loom video and we're going to go on the page that's most relevant of what we're adding value on is their Instagram, is their website. So when it comes to the script, we just need to follow this step by step. The framework that we use is we want to first set an agenda. So basically what you're going to be covering, then we're going to add value. So situation, problem, teach. So this is the framework that we're going to be doing when we do add value. We're not just going to spitball a bunch of value 
to them. We want to have a framework of how we're communicating this value that shows that you're an expert, but also gets them to take action on your points, essentially. Then we have call action, which is basically how they can get in touch with you. So for this example, what I'm going to do is I would pull up my loan video. Then we can just simply go through the framework. Hey, John, thanks for the response. Basically wanted to just drop the three things that I feel like will help you increase conversions from Instagram so that you can close more deals for your coaching business. Set the agenda and then set how the value is going to help them achieve the desired outcome that they're looking for. First things first, situation. I see this a ton is people don't put a pin post. Problem is there's thousands of customers visiting your profile every single day. And what they're going to do is they're going to click on the first post, which is actually going to get viewed the most. So what I would suggest is pinning a post that intros you and has a call to action. We do what's called a conversion pin post with really good copy that intros you, but promotes action that works super well. So definitely get that dialed in. Secondly, notice you don't have any ads running. The problem is if you're relying just on posting, it's going to be super unpredictable. What I would do is run a simple DM ad to increase the amount of people that you're talking to. We have what's called a cash cow coach funnel, which is a DM ad system that predictably gets our coaches leads. Lastly, you don't have any call actions in your bio. The problem is, is you don't make it really easy for people to contact you. What I would do is I would just add in the simple DM me the word X if you want the desired outcome that you're offering for your clients and it looks like you help them grow and build their business. This simple trick should get you an extra one to two extra DMs every single day. And then lastly, the call to action. Looking forward to seeing these changes on your profile. And if you found them helpful and are also looking to get more leads from your Instagram, we'll be happy to game plan on how we're helping coaches get an extra two to five clients per week using our system. Cheers. And then the cool thing with Loom is we can get notified every single time somebody opens and watches the video. So now we have a reason to follow up with them. Hey, notice that you just watched the Loom video. What did you think? So that is the Loom cold email strategy for 2024. And no doubt if you were to take this inside of your business and implement it for your business, you'd probably never have to worry about getting clients again. And if you want to set up your emails as smoothly as possible, check in this video right here. It'll explain step by step how you can make sure that the 750 emails are actually set up correctly. But keeping up with the latest and best strategies for cold email can be pretty tricky, which is why I made this secret cold email trick that I've realized is taking over and I'll teach you exactly how to implement it. Thanks guys so much for watching. We will see you on the next one.